Hi, thank you so much for taking my question. You are my primary source for sound financial advice, and I recommend you to anyone that will listen. My question today is regarding retirement accounts and switching employment. Some background information. I'm 39 years old. I make approximately $190,000 a year. 160 of that is from W-2 income, an additional 30 to 35,000 from 1099 income from a side gig. My retirement savings to this point are scant. I have $50,000 in my previous employer's 403B. That's from maxing out the last couple of years. I also have $5,000 in a SEP IRA. My new employer is an estate with no state income taxes. They offer a 401k through Fidelity with a Roth option. You can do all Roth, a mixture of Roth and pre-tax or all pre-tax money up to the max of 19500 but nothing over that. My question becomes, should I take advantage of this Roth option? My thoughts are, if I do take advantage of the Roth through my 401k, then I could keep the SEP in place and continuing to contribute to that. If I do not take advantage of the Roth option at work, I will eventually roll the SEP into my new 401k, which will allow me to backdoor Roth down the road. I am still paying off student loans, so I don't know if I would be able to do that within the next year or two. Thank you so much for your advice. Okay, so it boils down to, should I do a Roth or a tax-deferred 401k? Um, You sound a little bit confused about the SEP IRA. I'm not a big fan of SEP IRAs. I think you probably ought to stop using one and use a solo 401k, aka an individual 401k instead. And yes, you need to roll the SEP IRA into a 401k, whether it's your individual 401k you have because you're self-employed or whether it's from your employer's 401k. Either one's fine to roll the SEP into so that you can do a backdoor Roth IRA each year. But as far as the Roth versus tax-deferred 401k contribution, this is actually a relatively complex question. There are rules of thumb, but there are enough exceptions to them that you probably have to pay a little bit more attention than usual. The rule of thumb is to do traditional or tax-deferred contributions during your peak earnings years. But there are exceptions. I didn't hear one from you in your question, um, so I'd probably just do tax-deferred contributions. Use tax-free contributions in a year where your earnings, your income is lower than it usually is, like residency, fellowship, the year you leave training, um, if you retire halfway through the year, or if you cut back on how much you're working, or you take a long uh, paternity or maternity leave. You know, Those are the types of years when you would use a tax-free or Roth account. One thing you did mention, you mentioned that you're living in a tax-free state now. So if you're planning to retire in California or New York or something like that, that might be a reason for you to do Roth contributions now. But in general, the general rule is during peak earnings years, use tax-deferred contributions. During low earnings years, use Roth contributions. Hopefully that's helpful. If you want your questions answered by the White Coat Investor, record your question at whitecoatinvestor.com slash YQA or click the link in the description.